Damien Ichabod here of the UFO hunting group MUFART. I want to quickly go into star-like UFOs and how to determine whether it's a star or a UFO. Prior to getting this camera, the only way to determine whether it's a star or a UFO is whether it's cloudy or not. If it's a star on a cloudy night, it's a star-like UFO, no question. This is, if you can't see the moon, how can you see a star? That's how it works. If it's a clear night, then you just don't know. Until now. There's a new way I've been using to determine whether it's a star or a UFO. That doesn't re rely on my checklist as much. In fact, this checklist isn't even looked at when I see a star-like object. And this is what I do. With this camera, which has a phenomenal 70x zoom, you zoom in on the object, and if it looks like it's fluttering around but not changing shape and color, it's just a star. Some UFOs, however, look no different than that, which is interesting. But it's definitely a UFO if it looks different than that. So, now I have a way of determining whether it's a star-like UFO easily. This new camera really helps in that. It's an excellent camera for that kind of thing. I'm glad I got it when I did. Because star-like UFOs are hard to find. I definitely filmed one a few nights ago on the 25th of the month. Um, it looked so weird up close. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to briefly talk about star-like UFOs. Briefly. Because I think with the camera, it's much easier to determine whether it's a star-like UFO or not. It was really inconvenient when I had to wait for a cloudy night and say that's a star-like UFO. Because it was cloudy, there shouldn't be stars out. Right now, I can do it on a clear night and determine it. I can aim at a star and see if it's really a star or not, which is good.